here for the first time at Jersey Mike's. Don't tell Jimmy Johnson. What's going on, my little pig? Let's your BFF Pork Shop here, and I'm coming at you with another food review here for the first time at Jersey Mike's. Don't tell Jimmy John's. I'm just kidding. I don't think they would care. To give the number 10 tuna sandwich a shot. Yeah, I'm repping both my teams today. I got my Team Instinct and my Dallas Cowboys. So, fantastic. I love Jimmy John's tuna. I've never tried Subway's tuna, but I bet that's amazing. And just like Jimmy John's, Jersey Mike's makes theirs fresh in shop. So, let's see what the difference is. There's the wrapper. It smells fantastic. Oh, and they already cut it in half. How I got it is I got it with lettuce and easy onion. So, they pretty much, the bread's thicker than the Jimmy John's bread. I'm going to be comparing it to Jimmy John's the entire time. Hope you guys don't mind. And I got this on the wheat bread, which they recommended the wheat bread. There is, let me see if I can open this up. See, there is the tuna with lettuce and easy onion. And I got easy mayo on top as well, even though they said that they already mix in the mayo with the tuna. So without further ado, let's give this bad boy a bite. Let's go, Jersey Mike's. Mm, fantastic. The tuna here is fantastic. It tastes differently than Jimmy John's. Jimmy John's puts a secret ingredient in their tuna, which I'm not going to disclose because it's like the Krabby Patty secret formula. Love it with the crunch of the celery that they put in there, as well as the crunch of the onion and the lettuce. They did make it fresh like minutes ago before it got there, and I can tell this is fresh. This is fantastic. Way to go, Jersey Mike's. Not bad for a good first impression. Thank you, Jersey Mike's, for making a great tuna. So without further ado, let's get the pros and cons out of here. The pros here are the crunch of not only the lettuce, the onions, but also the celery inside of the tuna. The wheat bread with the tuna is a good combination. Great recommendation from the employees at Jersey Mike's. The tuna is fresh, which they made minutes prior, and the flavor of the tuna is awesome, fantastic. Cons here are that it tastes kind of bland because there's no cheese on it. If it had cheese on it, that would be great. If they did incorporate the secret ingredient like Jimmy John's does, this would be better. I do rank Jimmy John's tuna sandwich above Jersey Mike's. It was just a sandwich. The chips were like a dollar something extra, and the drink was upwards of two dollars if you wanted a big drink. So you have to pay extra if you want to make it a combo. It was a little expensive. This did come to almost eight dollars. This sandwich came to a grand total of $7.85. This was almost an $8 sandwich. That's a little steep. That's a little too much. Have you tried any sandwich from Jersey Mike's? Let me know what your favorite sandwich is at Jersey Mike's. Not a bad first impression with the tuna, but I will come back and try other sandwiches. Might review a few more sandwiches. Who knows? On a scale of 1 to 10 piglets, I'm going to have to give the tuna sandwich from Jersey Mike's. This bad boy is getting a 7 out of 10. Points being docked because of extra for side and drink. Also, no cheese and also $8 just for the sandwich. So guys, thank y'all so much once again for dropping by. You can hit, and if you're not a piglet, you can hit that subscribe button right there to stay in touch with my videos and become a piglet. You can also go like me on Facebook, follow me on Vine, Twitter, and Snapchat. All those links are down in the description. And always remember my little piglets, Colin Porkchop loves y'all the most. So y'all take it easy, guys, and I will see y'all next time. Leave me recommendations where you want to see me eat, and you could get a shout out in the next video. Bye, guys.